thing that went over two days. We had we started at 5 p.m. on Tuesday, went on till 2 in the morning, and then went on to Wednesday for a few more hours. There has been many, many, many people who've been talking for over the last four years. They've been communicating to us. My entire life on the city council has been about Valpo. Those of you who are familiar with the Brady Bunch know Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. For me, it's been Valco, Valco, Valco. <laughs> so when I was at that critical juncture on Wednesday evening, I was asking myself, how would you like to be known for your four years on city council? What would you want people to say? That you got scared by a vocal minority that insists on saying their view again and again. They remain in their echo chamber and they project that they are the voice of the entire community. Are you going to be known for that? Or are you going to be known for the larger community? The community that is busy raising their children, going to work, doing other things, so they can show up at every council meeting to tell you what they want. But they write to you. They are listening. They send letters to the editor. They send you personal emails. They talk to you in the grocery stores. And I personally went to every school that invited me last year when I was mayor. I talked to a lot of girls in government classes. I talked to business students. And they all say, we want a place in Cupertino for us. There are two beautiful babies in the audience. They don't know what I'm saying, but it's their future that we need to think about. The schools that their parents want those kids to go to, as Vice Mayor Singh said, they won't have teachers. Who's going to teach those children? How will we make them productive members of our society? For our seniors, I'm heading there too. We need to be in an inclusive, multi-general community. Not separated from each other, but together so we learn from each other. For the seniors, it was my promise four years ago, I'll do my best for housing and transportation. And I delivered on that. But I would like to do more. I got you a program called RIDE, R-Y-D-E, Reach Your Destination Easily. And that was because I worked with four other West Valley mayors, the county and VTA, where I represent you on the board. And why did I do that? Because I want our seniors to be social, not stuck in their homes. So if you have something in Valco which is multi-generational, our youth and our seniors and everyday people can mingle together, that is what will make us successful as a community, a city, and we show to the country that we are unified together. And that's why I took that decision on Wednesday last week. And I'm very proud to stand here with Rod and Barry that we took this decision together. What are we getting? We are getting many, many, many ben benefits that Rod talked about. The other side is saying we took bribes. Do you see an incubator for our business students as a bribe? Do you see money going to the CUSD and FUHSD as a bribe? They, those superintendents came to our city hall, the city council meeting, and said, this is something that we cannot even believe we are getting, because this is what will help our students prosper. This is, what, this is our duty to our students. We need to do this so that our students have a good education and go out into the world. So how can we ignore that? And I said earlier I was in the I'm on the board of VTA. We talk about near-term solution and long-term solutions for transportation. Because traffic is topmost in everyone's mind. We are getting funding towards the trails, bike paths, and the community shuttle. All these are small building blocks that help alleviate the problem. It won't fix everything. We'll still have some traffic on 